We know that everyone has preferences of what they want in their dogs, and here we're going to explore just another one of those options. Some like fluffy dogs, some enjoy little dogs, while others want big scary monster dogs. This is for those who are looking for dogs that can not only protect through their strength, but also with their general intimidating appearances. This is for all those out there who want dogs that are not only stronger than them, but probably better looking as well. This is the most muscular dog breeds. Greyhound. Now when you think of a greyhound, you may not think of muscles. In fact, you might think that they look a bit lanky and like they don't have much meat on their bones. But the meat they do have is basically pure muscle, and they show that with their extraordinary athletic prowess. They're what's considered a sidehound, and they were bred for some pretty specific purposes. Greyhound racing and for coursing game. They are described by Merriam Webster as any of a breed of tall, slender, graceful, smooth-coated dogs characterized by swiftness and keen sight. It sounds like they hit the nail right on the head doesn't it? They're slimly built with a flexible spine, deep chest, and really long, super powerful legs. And this allows them to run faster than the incredible speed of 40 miles per hour over the course of a race. And they bolt to a start and can achieve up to 43 miles per hour in just 98 feet. They typically stand 27 to 30 inches at the withers and weigh anywhere from 60 to 88 pounds. And as we said, that's pretty much pure muscle. So these fine animals definitely earned their place on this list. American Bully. Don't you just think of power when you hear the name? Well, that's because they are sturdy and extremely muscular. And boy, do they look it. This stocky, short, muscular dog was bred through selective line breeding of the American Pit Bull Terrier, and they were created as a companion dog for families. These things really are basically designer, and they come in four different distinct sizes. Pocket, Standard, Classic, and XL. The breed itself was created between 1980 and 1990. And to get the bullies that we see today, there are seven different breeds of dog that have thought to have gone into the process. American Pitbull Terriers, American Staffordshire Terriers, American Bulldogs, English Bulldogs, Old English Bulldogs, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, and French Bulldogs. They usually stand between 13 to 20 inches tall and weigh between 66 to 110 pounds. And that's all muscle and bone. Don't worry though, they don't have the drive of many of the other bully breeds and tend to be very laid back and will even cuddle in your lap. If you want a dog that looks like it could kick some serious butt, but in all reality will let lounge around with you for hours on end and just bask in your love, this is it. Bully Whippets what in the world is this? Who even created this poor animal? You know that it has to be hard to live life like this. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger back in his most muscular days, but a dog. So whippets were first bred in the 19th century for the specific purpose of racing, but recently the bully whippets started popping up in the litters and breeders began to wonder why. It turns out that it's a genetic mutation that results in muscle mass actually doubling in these dogs. Myostatin has been found to be the culprit behind the extreme muscling, and it doesn't just affect dogs. Variants of the muscular hypertrophy phenotype have been found in cats, sheep, mice, cattle, and even some human beings. The bully whippet have strongly developed neck and leg musculature and extremely broad chests. And although they look like they'd have lots of health problems, they really don't. The only side effect is thigh and shoulder cramping from time to time. Doggo Argentino. These sweet looking muscular babies were developed in none other than Argentina. Not that you could have guessed that from the name or anything. They were created for the specific purpose of big game hunting, and Antonio Norres Martinez, the breeder that created them, also wanted a dog who would basically protect its owner until the end, and show steadfast, unwavering bravery. Most of the time these dogs are large and have white coats with no marking whatsoever, and not only look muscular, but are muscular and powerful. They typically stand 24 to 27 inches tall and and weigh between 88 and 99 pounds. They say that muscle weighs more than fat, and these pretty pups prove that. They're normally almost just as tall as they are long, giving them a solid, boxy look. And due to an unsteady temperament, they're mostly used as a form of service dog for the military, police, search and rescue, or as a legit service dog for the disabled and blind. Boxer. These remarkable and extremely prevalent dogs were developed over in Germany and are known for their short fur, medium size, square muzzles, and their super cute underbites. They were bred from a combination of the old English bulldog and the extinct bull and bizer. They are members of the working group and the molosser group. Molossers are a category of dog that are known for their large size and their solidity, and they all descend from the same ancestor, a giant shepherd dog known as the molossus. They typically stand between 21 and 25 inches tall and weigh between 55 and 
171 pounds, both males and females. They're playful, energetic, good with kids, as well as protective of their families with the muscle to back it up. So they make for the perfect family pet. That is, if you've got lots of energy, time and space. For years and years, boxers were the seventh most popular and loved dog breed in the United States. But recently they got bumped down a spot and are now the eighth most popular. They're not just good at being family pets, but they do great as guard dogs, service dogs, guide dogs, therapy dogs, herding dogs, and as canine units for police departments. They're also beautiful and have faces that are perfect for kissing. Just saying. Rottweiler. These intimidating but adorable dogs were once known in Germany as Rottweiler Metzgerhund, which means Rottweil butcher's dogs, because they were mainly used for things like herding livestock and pulling carts that were stacked with butcher's meat to the market. They're still used for herding in various parts of the world, but these pups are now also used as police dogs, search and rescue dogs, and even guard dogs. Now, they didn't begin in Germany as their name may suggest, but it's believed they could possibly be descendants of a breed of ancient Roman drover dog. Breeders typically aim for a few things when producing these semi-scary dogs. Intelligence, strength, balance, endurance, and proportionality. Females typically reach sizes of between 22 and 25 inches, whereas males grow to about 24 to 27 inches. The difference isn't much, but when it comes to weight, they are definitely split, as females reach weights of 77 to 106 pounds, and males fill out to about 110 to 132 pounds. They're calm, confident, obedient, and very loyal. They're also super alert and have an intense desire to protect their families. So they're overall a very awesome breed. And if you're ever in the market, don't just write these guys off because they look, and probably are, stronger than you. Doberman Pinchner Carl Frederick Lewis Doberman first developed this medium to large breed of greatness back around 1890 in the good old country of Germany. They're known for being alert, intelligent, loyal guard and companion dogs. And if they're treated and trained correctly, they'll be extremely devoted and loving animals towards their owners. They're also well known for their immense muscular strength and appearance. And the typical Doberman is supposed to be pretty square in overall shape, at least by the standards of the World Canine Organization, and should also appear noble and elegant. When first bred, they were intended as a guard dog, so they can be quite intimidating and even scary looking. And as guard dogs, they must be fearless, selfless, and willing to do whatever it takes to protect their owners, while at the same time being obedient and restrained. They weigh in between 71 and 99 pounds, most of that muscle, and stand 25 to 28 inches tall. So if you need a guard dog that's big, muscular, and scary, or if you just want a friend like that, check out the Doberman Pinschner. American Staffordshire Terrier. These pups are also known by the name Amstaff, and that's basically just an abbreviation in case you didn't pick up on that. They're part of the Pitbull group and are just one of a few different breeds in the group. And they are also wholly different from the Staffordshire Bull Terrier of the United Kingdom, but are often confused with them. They were created by breeding a bulldog with a terrier, and which terrier is still debated to this day. It's believed that the dogs were made by using a fox terrier, white English terrier, or a black and tan terrier. Their temperament is phenomenal when adopted by a family, and they thrive on the structure and love they receive in one. They're incredibly loyal to their owners and love being given a job too. So these pups could be perfect life buddies. They weigh anywhere from 40 to 60 pounds and stand 17 to 19 inches tall and are built well for performing in dog shows and agility competitions. They're incredibly strong and can be really sweet. And we hope that if you're ever in the market, you'll consider one of these mighty beasts because as we said, they belong in a family and they love, love. American Pitbull Terrier. These incredibly cute and amazingly sweet pups get a bad rap and it's a tragedy. The American Pitbull Terrier is a purebred dog that is medium sized as far as dogs go, smarter than smart and super solidly built with lots and lots of muscle. They stand on average between 17 to 21 inches tall and weigh anywhere from 30 to 60 pounds. And literally almost all of that weight is pure muscle. Now we know that you're going to have different opinions on this, but we think the fact that there are some limitations on Pitbull ownership in some places and outright bans in others is pretty sad. There are 12 countries in Europe that have breed-specific legislation on dogs considered to be pit bull types, as do Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Singapore, Malaysia and Ecuador. They're wholly banned in Ontario, Canada, the United Kingdom and in some areas of the United States. In some ways it's understandable, seeing as these dogs are so well built and so strong that there's really nothing that can be done to stop an attack once initiated. But the urge to attack isn't typically inborn, but instead trained in. 
Even the United Kennel Club says aggressive behaviour towards humans is uncharacteristic of this breed, and American pit bull terriers make excellent family companions and have always been noted for their love of children. They're powerful, they're muscular, but they're also big old beautiful lovers. We truly enjoyed compiling this list for you as we got to explore the ins and outs of some genuinely beautiful and amazing animals. Did any of these surprise you? Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. That way you won't miss out on the excellent new content that we put out every single day.